Harry got up on Sunday morning and dressed so intonately that it was a while before he released it, he was trying to pull his head onto his foot instead of his sock. When he had finally got all his clothes on the right parts of his body, he hurried uh, off to find Hermione, location here, the Gryffindor table in the Great Hall where she was eating breakfast with Jamie. Feeling too crazy to eat, Harry waited until Hermione had slowed, swallowed a yellow spoonful of porridge, then dragged her into the grounds uh, for another walk. There are he uh, told her about the dragons and about everything Sirius had said, while they took another long walk around the lake. Alarmed as uh, she was by serious warnings about Karkov. Hermione still uh, tapped uh, that the dragon was a more pressing problem. Let's just try and keep you alive until Tuesday evening, she said desperately, and then uh, we can worry about Karkov. They walked three times around the lake, trying all the way to think of a simple spell that would subdue a dragon. Nothing that's over occurred uh, to them, so they retired to the library instead. Here, uh, Harry pulled down every book he could find on Dragon, and both of them set to work searching uh, through uh, the large pile. Talon clipping by charms, dredging scale rope, uh, this is no good. This is uh, for natures like Hagrid who want to keep them healthy. Dragon are uh, extremely difficult to slay owing to the unsaid magic that imbibes uh, their zig heights, uh, which none but the most powerful spells can, pen uh, can penetrate. But Sirius said it's simple on what to eat. Let's try some uh, simple spell books, then said Harry, throwing uh, aside men who love dragons too much. He returned uh, to the table with a pile of spell books, uh, set uh, them down and began to flick uh, through uh, each in turn. Hermione, uh, whispering non-stop uh, at his uh, elbow. Well, there are uh, switching spells, but what's the point of switching in? Unless you swap it, it's funks uh, for for one uh, grams on. Something that would make it less dangerous. The trouble is like that looks said, not much is going to get rough uh, a dragon's uh, height. I'd say transfigure it but something uh, that big you really haven't got a hope i dubbed even professor uh, mcgonagall unless you're a supporter uh, supposed to put the spell on yourself maybe to give yourself extra powers but as there are uh, no simple spells i mean we haven't done any of those in class. I know about them because I've been doing OWL practice papers. Hermione, uh, Harry said, uh, so greeted uh, this. Will you shut up for a bit, uh, please? I am trying to concentrate, um, but all that happened uh, when Hermione fell silent was that Harry's uh, brain filed with a sort uh, of blank buzzing, which didn't seem uh, to allow room for concentration. He stayed hopel uh, hopelessly down the index of basic um, he Harris for the buzzy and waxed. Instead, a scale pink, uh, but dragon had uh, no hair. Paper breath uh, that would probably increase a dragon's uh, fear of it. Horn uh, told you just what he had, uh, needed to give it an extra weapon. Oh no, he's back again. Why can't he read on his stupid ship? said Her Hermione irritably. As uh, Victor Crumb uh, slouched uh, in case Sarley looked over at the pair of them and settled himself in a decent corner with a pile of books. 
Uh, come on, hurry. We'll go back to the common room, his fan club uh, club be here in, uh, in a moment, uh, twittering away. And sure enough, and sure enough, uh, as they left the library, a gang uh, of girls to poet passed them in the library. On uh, one of them wearing uh, Bulgaria scarf, uh, t uh, scarf it around her waist. Harry barely slept that night. Uh, when he awoke on Monday morning, be seriously con uh, considered for the first time ever just running away from. Uh, Hogwarts. But as he looked around the great hall at the breakfast time and uh, talked about uh, the, what living the castle would mean, he knew uh, he could not do it. It was the only place he had uh, ever been happy. Well, he supposed it the most, uh, the must have been happy with his parents, uh, too, but uh, he could not remember that. Somehow the novelties uh, that he would rather be here and facing dragon uh, than back in a private drive with Dudley uh, was good to know. Uh, was good to know. It made him feel uh, slightly calmer. Uh, he finished his bacon uh, with difficulty. His uh, throat wasn't uh, working too well. And uh, as he and Hermione got up, he was so uh, Cedric Diggory leaving the uh, Hoverpuff uh, table. Cedric uh, still didn't know about the dragons. Uh, the only champion of who didn't eat a hurry was right in thinking uh, that Maxim and Karkov uh, would uh, have told Fleur and uh, Crumb. Hermione, I'll see you in the greenhouse, uh, Harry said, coming to his decision as uh, he watched uh, Cedric uh, leaving the hall. Go on, I'll catch you up. Harry, I'll uh, be late, the bill's uh, about to ring. I'll catch you up, okay? By the time Harry reached uh, the bottom of the marble stressed, Stray scare. Cedric was at the top. Uh, he was with a load of six year friends. Harry didn't want to talk to Cedric uh, in front of them. They were among those uh, who had been quitting Rita Skitter's article and uh, at him every time he went near them. He followed Cedric at a distance and saw that he was heading towards uh, the Charms Corridor. Uh, this have Harry an idea. Passing at a distance from them, he pulled out his wand and took a uh, careful aim. Defendo, uh, Cedric's back split uh, part... Um, Cedric's back split uh, parchment, quills, and books pilot out of in onto the floor several bottles of ink smashed. smashed. Don't bother, said uh, Cedric in a uh, exprited uh, voice of his friend, bent down to help him tell uh, Flutwig I'm uh, coming, go on. This was actually uh, that Harry had been hoping for. He slipped his wand back into his robes, uh, waited until Cedric's uh, friends had disappeared into uh, their classroom and hurried up the corridor, which uh, was now empty of everyone but himself and Cedric. Hi, said Cedric, uh, picking up a copy of a gauge uh, to advise it, transfer uh, Transfiguration uh, uh, that was now split there with ink. Uh, my bag just split, brand new and all. Cedric said, Harry, the first task is dragon. What? said Cedric, looking up. Dragons, said Harry, speaking quickly in case Professor Fleetwick came out to see where Cedric <coughs> had got to. 
they uh, there are uh, got four one uh, for each of us and they got four one for each of us and we got to get past them cedric started at him harry saw some uh, of the panic had been feeling since saturday a night uh, flickering in cedric gray eyes are you sure Cedric said in a hushed, vo uh, hushed voice. Dead sure, said Harry. I've seen uh, them. But how did you find out? Uh, we're, uh, not supposed, uh, we're not supposed to know. Never mind, said Harry quickly. Uh, he knew Hagrid uh, would, would be on trouble if he did the trust. But I'm not the only one who knows uh, Flair and Crumb will know by now. Maxim and Karkov uh, both sell the dragons too. Cedric uh, straightened up uh, his arms full of inky quills, uh, paragment uh, and books, his ripped back uh, darling uh, of one shoulder. He started and hurry um, and uh, and there was a puzzled, almost a suspicious uh, look in his eyes. Why are you telling me? He asked Harry, looked at him in uh, disfavor. He was sure uh, Cedric wouldn't uh, have asked they if they had seen the dragon himself. Harry wouldn't have, uh, have let his words um, enemy uh, faces monsters uh, unpreparate. Um, well, firm smell for your snake. It's just said, isn't it? Uh, he said to Cedric. We all know. Uh, we all know now. Uh, we are on an even footing, aren't we? Cedric was still looking at him in a slightly. Superiors, uh, wise and hardy, had a familiar uh, cloaking uh, nose behind him. He turned it around and so made I, a uh, muddy uh, amorning uh, from a neighborly classroom. Come with me, Potter, he growled, degree of Hugo. Harry started oppressively uh, at Muddy. Had he or heard them? A uh, professor? I'm supposed to be in herbology. Um, Never mind that, Potter. In my office, please. Um, Harry followed him, wondering what is going to happen to him now. What is Moody wanted to know how uh, he had found out about the dragons? Would Moody to go uh, Dumbledore and tell on Hagrid, or just turn Harry into a ferret? Well, it might be a uh, serious to get past a dragon if there was a ferret. Harry uh, chuffed uh, Darling. Had be smaller, much less easy to see from a heft uh, of 50 feet. Uh, he followed Moody into his office. Moody closed the door behind uh, them and turned to look at Harry. His magic eye fixed up, uh, upon uh, him as well as a normal one. That was a very decent thing you just did, Potter, Moody said quickly. Harry didn't know what to say, this went to the recreation he had expe uh, expected at all. Sit down, said Moody and Harry said, looking around. In Professor uh, Lockhart's day, uh, the walls had been plastered with beaming, uh, winking uh, pictures of Professor Lockhart uh, himself. When Lupin had level hair, you were more likely to come across a specimen of some uh, fascinating new dark creature uh, he had produced, um, uh, procured for them to study in class. Uh, now, however, uh, the office was full of a number of exponentially, uh, exp um, odd object uh, that Harry supposed Moody had used in the days when he had been an auror. 
On his desk stood uh, what looked like a large, uh, cracked uh, glass spinning top, highly recording, uh, recording set it and once as a sneakoscope uh, because we own it on himself. Uh, uh, self, uh, it was much smaller than Modi's. In the corner, um, on a small table stood um, an object that looked at something like an extra squiggly golden television aerial. Uh, it was uh, humming uh, swiftly. Uh, what appeared to be a mirror hung opposite Harry on the wall, but it was not uh, reflecting the room. Shadowy uh, features uh, were moving around inside it, known uh, of them clearly in fox. Like my dark de uh, de detectors, do you? said Moody, uh, who was uh, watching Harry closely. Uh, what's that? A hairy asked, pointed and the uh, squiggly golden area. Security sensor um, vibrates when it uh, detects uh, concealment and lies. No use here, of course, too much inference. Uh, students in every direction lying about by the haven't uh, done their homework. Been humming ever since I got here. I had to disable my uh, sneakoscope because it wouldn't uh, stop uh, whistling. It's extra sensitive, picks up stuff about a mile around. Of course, it could uh, be picking up more than kids' stuff. He added in a growl. And what's the mirror for? Oh, that's my focus. Uh, see them out there sculling around. I'm not really in trouble until I see the whites of their eyes. That's when I open my trunk. Uh, he let out a short, uh, harsh laugh and pointed to the large trunk under the window. It had seven K holes in a row. Harry wonder. Uh, um, wondered what was in there until Moody's uh, next questions brought uh, him sharply uh, back to his. So, uh, found out about the dragons, have you? Harry uh, has stayed, uh, had been afraid of this, but he hadn't uh, told Cedric. And he uh, certainly wasn't going to tell Moody that Hagrid uh, had broken the rules. It's all right, it's all right uh, said Moody, sitting down and stretching uh, out his wooden leg with a growl. Uh, chatting's a uh, traditional part of the tree wizard uh, tower named and always has been. I didn't cheat, said Harry uh, sharply. Uh, it was a, surf, a sort of accident that I found all out. Moody uh, grinned. I wasn't accusing you, Lydia. Um, I've been telling Dumbledore uh, from the start uh, he can uh, be as high minded as he likes, but you can be uh, old Kirkov. Uh, Karkov and uh, Maxim uh, won't be. They um, have told the champions everything they can. They want to win. They want to beat Dumbledore. They'd like to prove he's only human. Moody have um, a harsh laugh and uh, his magical eye uh, swelled around so fast it made Harry feel quashy to watch it. So, got any ideas? Ideas how uh, you're going to get past around Dragon yet? said Moody. No, said Harry. Well, I am not going to tell, said Moody, grafty, uh, gruffly. I don't show favoritism, me. I'm just going to give you some good general advice. And the first bit is play to you, str um, strange. I haven't got any, said Harry, before he called stop Himes. Excuse me, growled Moody. 
you've got a strength uh, if I say you've got something now. What are you best at? Harry tried uh, to constrain uh, what was uh, he best at. Well, that was easy, really. Uh, Quidditch, uh, he said dully, and a uh, uh, lot of help. That's right, said Moody, staring at him very hard, his uh, magical eye barely moving at all. Uh, you're uh, you're uh, a damn good flyer uh, from what I've had. Yeah, but uh, Harry started at him. I am not a love at a broom. I only got my wand. My second piece uh, of general advice, said Moody loudly, interrupting uh, him, is to use a nice simple spell which will um, enable you to get what you need. Harry looked at him blankly. Uh, what did he need? Come on, boy, uh, whispered at Moody. Put them together. It's not that difficult, and it uh, clicked he was best at flying. He needed uh, to pass the dragon in the air, uh, for that uh, he needed his firebolt, and for his firebolt he needed. Hermione hurry uh, with spirit uh, when he had sped in the greenhouse. Three ten minutes later, at um, uttering a hurried uh, apology to Professor Sprout um, as he passed him, Hermione, I need you to help me. What do you think I've been trying to do, Harry? She uh, spirit back uh, uh, her eyes round with angsty over the top of the quivering. Um, a flattery bush she was uh, pruning. Hermione, I need to learn how to do a some morning a charm pro, uh, properly by tomorrow uh, afternoon. T uh, <clears throat> tried with all his uh, might to make various objects fly across the room towards him. He was still having problems, the books and uh, quills kept losing head hallway across the room and dropping like stone to the floor. Constraint, uh, Harry, constraint, uh, what do you think I am trying to do, said Harry angrily. angrily. A uh, fifty great dragon keeps uh, popping uh, up in my head for some reason. Okay, try again. He wanted to skip divination to keep uh, practicing, uh, but Hermione refused point blank to squeal of arismancy, and there uh, was no point uh, staying without him. He therefore uh, had and dear over and um, how was professor Tre uh, Trelawney who spent how the lesson to, uh, telling everyone that the position of Mars in uh, relation of Saturn and the moment mean that people born in July were in great danger of su a sudden uh, violent death. Well, that's good, said Harry loudly, his temper Jetting uh, the better of him, just as long as it's not drowned out. I don't want to su uh, suffer. Ron looked uh, for a moment as uh, tough he was going to laugh. He certainly uh, coughed uh, Harry's eye for the first time in days, but Harry was still feeling too resentful towards Ron to care. He spent the rest of the lesson trying to uh, attract small objects towards him under the table. With his wand, uh, he managed to make a fly zoom straight into his hand. Uh, soft, uh, he wasn't entirely sure uh, that was owing to his pro uh, prowess at summoning uh, charms. Uh, be, uh, perhaps the fly was just stupid. Um, he forced down some dinner after divination, then returned uh, to the empty classroom with Hermione. 
using the instability clock um, to avoid the teachers. They kept practicing until past uh, my need. Uh, they would have stayed longer, but uh, Peewee's uh, turned up and pretending to think that Harry Wantle thinks Brown at him start shaking chairs across the room. Harry and Hermione left in Harry before the noise attracted a uh, field and went back to the Gryffindor common room, which was now merciful, um, mercifully empty. Shaking chairs across the room. Harry and Hermione left in Harry before the noise attracted a uh, field and went back to the Gryffindor common room, which was now merciful, um, mercifully empty. At two o'clock in the morning, uh, Harry stood near the fireplace, surrounded by heaps of objects, books, uh, quills, several upturned chairs and uh, old set of um, job stones and navels stowed Trevor. Only in the last hour, uh, last hour had Harry really, uh, really got the hand of the summoning charm. That's better, uh, that's better Harry, that's loads better, Hermione said looking ecstatic uh, but very pleased. Uh, well, now we know uh, what to do next time. I can't imagine a spell, Harry said, uh, throwing a run a dictionary back to Hermione uh, so he could try again. Uh, threatening me with a dragon ride, he raised his wand once more um, at Sio dictionary. The heavy book uh, soared out of Hermione's hand, uh, flew across the room, and Harry coughed it. Uh, Harry, I, re I really think uh, you got it, said Hermione uh, deliftedly. Just as long as it was tomorrow, Harry said, the firebolts going to be much Father away than uh, the stuff in here. It's going to be in the castle and I'm going to be out uh, there in the grounds. That doesn't matter, said Hermione firmly, just as long as you concentrate really, really hard on it. It'll come, Harry. But better get some sleep. You're uh, going to need it. Harry uh, had been focusing so hard on uh, learning the sum summoning charms that evening that uh, some of his build uh, panic had left him. It uh, returned in a full uh, measure, um, however, on the following morning. The atmosphere in the school was on of great tens uh, tension and excitement. Lessons were to stop at midday, uh, giving all the students time to get down. With the dragons uh, and closure tough, uh, of course, they didn't yet know what they would find there. Harry uh, felt oddly separate uh, from everyone around him, whether they were wishing him good luck of hissing while uh, he had a box of tasses ready Potter um, as he passed. It was a state of never uh, nervousness so advanced that he wondered uh, whether he might uh, just lose his uh, head when they tried uh, to let him out to his dragon and start trying to, trying to curse everyone in sight. Time was behaving in a more uh, paler uh, fashion than ever, rushing uh, past in great dollops, uh, so that on moment uh, he seemed uh, to be sitting down in his first lesson, History of Magic, and the next walking into lunch. Uh, and then where had the morning gone, the last, uh, the last of the dragon three house. Professor McGonagall was hurrying over to him in the great hall. 
uh, lots of people were watching. Potter, the champions have to come down into the grounds now. You have to get ready for uh, your first ask task. Okay, said Harry, standing up, his work falling onto his place uh, blade with a clatter. Uh, good luck, Harry. Hermione uh, with spirit. Uh, y'all uh, be, uh, be fine. Yeah, said Harry, in a voice that was most un uh, unlike his own. He left the great hall with Professor McGonagall. She didn't seem uh, herself uh, as there, in fact. Uh, she looked uh, nearly as uh, an anxious as Hermione. As she walked him down the stone steps and out into the good November afternoon, she put her hand on his shoulder. Uh, now don't panic, uh, uh, she said, uh, just keep a cool head. Uh, where uh, got wizards on hand control um, the situation if it gets out of hand, the main thing is just to do your best and nobody will think any the worse of you. Are you uh, all right? Yes, Harry had Heimsel say, yes, I'm fine. She was leading him towards the place where the dragon were around the edge of the forest bed, uh, but when they approached the clump uh, of trees behind which the enclosure uh, would be clearly uh, visible uh, harry so that a tent had been erected uh, its entrance facing them screening the dragon from wave uh, you're to go in uh, here with the other champions said professor mcgonagall in a rather shaky sort uh, of voice and wait for you tom potter mr uh, bagman is it is in there uh, hell he uh, he'll be telling you the the procedure good luck thanks said harry in a flat distant voice she left him uh, at the and drains of the tent. Harry went inside. A fur de la cure was sitting in a corner on a low wooden stool. She didn't look nearly as composed as usual, but raised pale and clammy. Victor Crumb uh, looked even uh, surly than usual, which uh, Harry supposed was him. His was a way of showing nerves. Cedric was passing up and down. When Harry entered, uh, he gave him a small smile, which Harry returned, feeling the uh, muscles uh, in his face working rather hard as a uh, thought uh, they had forgotten how to do it. Harry, good o said Bagman, uh, happily looking around at him. Come uh, come in, come in, make uh, useful at home. Bagman looking some, uh, somehow like a sleepily uh, overblown uh, cartoon figure um, standing amid all uh, the pale-faced champions. He was wearing his old wasp robes again. Well, now we're all here trying to fill you in, said Bangman briefly. Uh, when the adjuncts uh, has assembled, I'm going to be afraid each of you this bag. Uh, he held up a small sack of purple, uh, purple silk um, and shook it at them from which you will each sell it a small uh, model of the things you are about to. There are different air varieties you see and I have to tell you something kills too. Oh yes, uh, your task is to collect the golden egg. Harry glanced around. Cedric had a no deal uh, once to show that uh, he understood Bagman's words. And then started passing around the tent again, he looked swiftly green. 
Arthur de la Cure and uh, Graham hadn't uh, rectate at all. Perhaps uh, they thought they might uh, be sick if they opened their mouths. Uh, they was uh, certainly how Harry fed, but they at least had volunteered uh, for this. And in no time at all, hundreds upon hundreds of pair of uh, feet could uh, be had passing uh, the ten. Um, they often talking excitedly, laughing, jo uh, joking. Harry fed as separated from the crowd as if there were different spaces. And then he is the fed about a second uh, letter to Harry. Bagman was opening the nick of the purple silk sock. Uh, Lightest first, he said, offering it to uh, Fleur de la Cure. Uh, she put uh, a shaking uh, hand inside the bag and uh, drew out a teeny, perfect model of a dragon, a well screen. It had the number to a round in neck, and Harry knew uh, by the fact uh, that Fleur showed no sign uh, for surprise, but rather determined uh, resignant uh, that he had been right, Madame Maxime uh, had told he was uh, what was coming. The same held true for Crum. He pulled out the clear uh, Chinese uh, fireball. It had a number three around its neck. Uh, he didn't even blink, just started at the ground. Cedric put his hand into the bag and out came the uh, bluish gray Swedish short uh, snout, the number one tied around its neck. Now in what was left, Harry put his hand into the silk bag and pulled it out the uh, hand uh, Hangaran uh, whole time and the number four. Um, it stretched it, uh, its wings. As he looked down at it uh, and buried its uh, minuscule fangs. Uh, well, there you are, said Bagman. You have each pulled out the dragon you will face and the numbers refer to the order in which you are to take on the dragons. Uh, do you see? Now I am going to have to leave you in a moment, because I am uh, commentating Mr. Diggory, you are fast, uh, just to uh, out into the enclosure when you have uh, a wise tale. All right, now Harry, uh, could I have a quick word outside? Uh, yes, said Harry blankly, and he got up and went out of the ten with Bagman, who walked him uh, a short way away into the trees and uh, then turned to him with a fasterly uh, uh, expression uh, on his face. Feeling all right, Harry, anything I can get you? What? said Harry. I uh, know nothing. Got a plan? said Bagman, uh, lowering his voice uh, conspiratorially, because I don't mind sharing a few pointers if you uh, if you do like them, you know. I mean, Bagman con uh, continued uh, lowering his voice still faster, by rare, uh, like a head haze which made the enclosure and the hundreds uh, of eyes around him swim uh, strongly. And uh, then he had in speeding curse uh, of uh, that air behind him. He turned and saved uh, his firebolt hurling uh, towards him around the edge of the woods, uh, soaring into the enclosure uh, and stopping dead in uh, mid air beside him, waiting for him to mount. Uh, the crowd was making ever. Uh, uh, even more now, uh, Bagman was shouting something, but uh, Harris, ears were not working uh, probably anymore. Listening wasn't important. Uh, important. He swung uh, his leg over the broom 
and a kick a kick it uh, from the ground and a second later something miracles happened as he uh, saw it upwards uh, as the wind uh, rushed um, uh, through his hair as the crowd's face become a uh, mere flesh colored pin pricks uh, below and the horn tail uh, shrunk uh, to the size of a dog he released and hit uh, that he had left not only the ground behind but also his fur his was back where he uh, belonged this was just another Quidditch uh, match that was all. Just another Quidditch match, and that horn tail uh, was just another ugly opposing team. He looked down at the clutch of eggs and spo uh, spotted uh, the gold one. Glamour gains its uh, common colorate uh, fellows uh, residing uh, suff uh, suffering in between uh, the dragon front legs. Okay, Harry uh, told himself diversionarily um, tactics. Let's go. He divided uh, the horn tiles, uh, had followed him, he knew what it uh, was going to do and pulled it out of the dive just in time. A jet of fire had been released exactly where he would he been had he not swerved away, but Harry didn't care. Uh, that was no more than a uh, dodding a uh, bludger. Uh, great Scott, uh, he can fly, a uh, yellow bagman as a uh, growth uh, shrike and gasped, uh, are you watching this, Mr. Crumb? Hardy saw it uh, higher in a car kill as a horn tile was still following uh, his Progress is head uh, revolving on its long neck. If he kept this up, it would be nicely dizzy. But better not push it uh, too long, or it would be bracing uh, fire again. Harry plummeted uh, just as the horn tail opened its mouth. Uh, but this time he was less lucky, he missed the flames, but uh, the tail came uh, whipping uh, up to meet him instead, and as uh, he swore to the left, one of the long uh, spikes grazed his shoulder, uh, ripping his ropes. Uh, he could feel it uh, stinging. Uh, he could hear screaming and uh, groans from the crowd, but the car didn't seem to be deep. Uh, now be, uh, now he zoomed around the back of the horn tail, and a possibility occurred to him. The horn tail didn't seem to want to take off. She was to uh, protect of, of her ex. A uh, soft uh, she right hit um, and twisted, uh, furling uh, and unfurling uh, her wings and keeping uh, so um, fear some yellow eyes on uh, Harry. She was afraid to move uh, too far from them, but he had to uh, peer side. Uh, had to do it or had never get near them the trick was to do it uh, carefully uh, gradually he began no fl uh, to fly first this way uh, then the other not uh, near enough to make a uh, brace fire to stave him off but still posing uh, a sufficient uh, threat uh, to ensure uh, she kept her eyes on him. He had swayed this way and that, watching him out of those vertical people's um, hair fangs buried. He flew uh, higher as the uh, horn tiles uh, had rose with him, her neck. Uh, 
how stretch it to its fullest extent, still swing like the snake before its charmer. Harry rose a few more feet and she let out a roar of expression. He was like a fly to her, a fly she was lo uh, lo longing uh, to sweat her uh, toil. Uh, stretch it again, but the was too high to reach now. She shot fire into the air, uh, which he uh, dodged. Uh, he just opened it wide. Come on, Harry has it swearing ten uh, times glee about here. Come on, come and get me. Up you get now. Um, and then uh, she raided, spreading her great black laser wings at last uh, as white as so of a small airplane and Harry dived before the dragon news knew uh, what he had done of where he had despaired to he was speeding towards uh, the ground as fast as he could go uh, towards the eggs now uh, abducted by her clawed uh, front legs uh, he had taken his hands of his a uh, firebolt uh, he had seized the golden egg uh, and with a huge uh, spark of speed uh, he was of the uh, he was soaring out over uh, the stands the heavy eggs safely under his android uh, arm and it was as if somebody had just turned the volume uh, back up for the first time, uh, he became uh, properly aware uh, of the noise of the crowd, which was uh, screaming and applauding as loudly as the Irish supported, uh, supports at the World Cup. Look at that, Bagman was yelling. Will you look at uh, our uh, youngest uh, champion is uh, uh, Quizkets uh, to get uh, his egg? Well, this is going to sh uh, shorten the odds on Mr. Potter. Harry saves the dragon keepers, rushing for uh, words to uh, subdue uh, the hauntile and over at the entrain uh, to the enclosure, Professor McGonagall, Professor Moody and Hagrid hurrying to meet him, all of them uh, waving him towards them, their smile, smiles um, radiant even from this distance. He flew back over the stands, the noise of the crowd pounding uh, his air dreams, uh, and came in smoothly to land his head a lifer, a lifer than it had been in weeks. Uh, he had got uh, through uh, the first task he had served, uh, that was excellent potter, cried Professor McGonagall. As he uh, got of the firebolt, which from here was extravagant price, uh, he noticed uh, that her hand uh, shook as she pointed at his shoulder. Uh, Y'all uh, need to see Madame uh, Pomfrey before the judges uh, give out your score over the chairs. Uh, he had to mop up Diggory already. Uh, yeah, I did it, Harry, said Hagrid uh, hoarsely. Yeah, I did it. And again, the Hointal and all, um, and yeah, no, Char Charlie said uh, that was the world's thanks, Hagrid, said Harry loudly, so that Hagrid wouldn't blunder on and reveal uh, that he had shown Harry the dragon uh, before he Professor Moody looked very uh, blessed to uh, his magical uh, I was dancing in its socket. Nice and easy does the trick, Potter, he groveled, uh, writes and Potter. The first aid, ten, please, said Professor McGonagall. Harry walked out of the en enclosure, still painting, uh, and so Madame Brom uh, Pomfrey studying and the moss uh, of a second ten, uh, looking for it. Uh, dragons, she said in a disgusted tone, pulling her inside. The tent uh, was divided into uh, 
uh, copy place. Uh, he could make our Cedric sh uh, shadow uh, through um, the canvas, but Cedric didn't seem to be badly. Uh, could make our Cedric sh uh, shadow uh, through um, the canvas, but Cedric didn't seem to be badly. Uh, in Jared, uh, he was sitting up. At last, Madame uh, Pomfrey examined Harry's shoulder, talking uh, for uh, furiously all the while. Last year, the mentors, uh, this year, dragons. Uh, what, are, what are they going to bring into his school next? You're well lucky. Uh, this is quite shallow. Uh, it uh, all need cleaning before I held it up. Uh, so uh, she cleaned uh, the cut with a drop of uh, some purple uh, liquid, which smoked and strong, but uh, then poked uh, his shoulder with a uh, hair wand, and he felt it help. Instantly, uh, how does sit quickly, uh, quickly for a minute, sit and then, um, and then you can go and get your score. Uh, she bustled out of the ten, and uh, he had her go next door and say, "How does it feel now, Diggory?" Harry didn't want to still sit, uh, sit still. Uh, he was still too full of adrenaline. Uh, he got uh, to his uh, feet waiting to see what was going out on outside, but before he had reached the mounds of the tent, uh, two people had come darting inside Hermione, followed closely by Ron. Harry, you were brilliant, uh, Hermione said uh, squarely. Uh, there were fine general uh, marks on her face where she had been clutching it in a fair you were amazing, you really were. But Harry was looking at Ron, who was very white uh, and staring at Harry, as if he was uh, a go uh, a false. Harry, he said very seriously, wherever uh, put your name is that uh, goblet. I I reckon they're trying to do in. It was as soft the last few weeks it had never happened as of Harry uh, was meeting Cron for the first time. Right after he'd been made champion, uh, carved on have you? said Harry coldly. Uh, took you long enough. Uh, Hermione stood near uh, nervously between them looking from one to the other. Ron opened his mouth uh, un uh, uncertainly. Harry knew Ron was about to apol uh, apologize and suddenly uh, he found uh, he didn't need uh, to hear it. It's okay, he said before Ron could get the words out. Uh, forget it. No, said Ron. I shouldn't be. Forget it, Harry said. Uh, Ron grinned nervously at him and Harry grinned back. Hermione burst into tears. Uh, there was nothing to cry about, Harry told. He believed it. Uh, you two are so stupid. She shouted, stamping his foot uh, on the ground, tears splashing down his front. Then, before a uh, Caesar, um, of them could stop here, uh, she had given both of them a hug and dashed away, uh, now positively howling. Uh, Berking, said Ron, shouting his head, Harry, uh, Simon, uh, they all been uh, putting up uh, your scores. Pinking uh, up the golden egg and his uh, firebolt, feeling more uh, uh, um, clated, then he would uh, have believed it possible and her a go. Harry uh, ducked out of the tent, uh, run by his side, talking fast. You were the best, you know, uh, you know, no competition. Cedric uh, did this uh, with wage sink where he transfigured uh, a rock on the ground, turned it into a dog. They was trying to make the dragon uh, go for the god <coughs> dog, 
instead of him. Well, it was a pretty cool bit of transfiguration and it sort of worked uh, because he didn't get the egg uh, but he got barn uh, as well the dragon ch 